The Huntsville City Football Club has only played a season and a half, but it's already clear that the 2024 season will be a memorable one. Just 15 games in, the team went 10 games without a win and made a coaching change, and now they'll be losing their second head coach since April. This week will be interim head coach Christoph Barra's final with HCFC. The club announced last week that Barra would be departing after Wednesday's match against New England Revolution 2. And this morning the head man explained that this has nothing to do with soccer and everything to do with family. Yeah, it was a hard decision. Uh, you know, I really enjoy my time here. Uh, Huntsville and Alabama have been very welcoming. Everyone's really friendly. Uh, however, my wife, just as I moved over here, my, uh, my, my, well, my wife was pregnant and... Um, it's getting to that kind of stage now that uh, we feel it's better for us to go home, to be closer to family and support. We've got Olivia, our three-year-old, as well, and um, it's a vital part time in our, our life. Family comes first. That's just life, and um, football will always be here. Football will always be in Huntsville and wherever I go as well. So it's um, really looking out for what's the best for my family. HCFC Director of Soccer Operations Matt Cairns says the club's focus is now on finding a permanent head coach and another interim will not be named with assistant Zach Harold expected to fill out the head seat until then. We've got a good staff, we've got um, Fabio Hernandez, Zach Harold. Um, we believe we have coaches within the two clubs that can step in in the meantime but in terms of uh, an interim head coach title, nothing like that will be taking place. I think Zach will take the head seat on the dugout on a game day, um, but it's about everyone mucking in at this time of year. And you know, there Zach takes a lot of the training. He does a great job with that. So whilst he might not have interim title or anything like that, he'll um, yeah he'll be leading things on the sideline in the short term. The team hopes to have a new head coach in place in the next few weeks. Bears' final game is on the road this Wednesday against New England Revolution Two.